Welcome back to another one. Hope you are having a great day. And today with a huge dual display that can be used with several operating systems in several ways. And we are going to check it out. So that being said, let's go straight for it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft soft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below this is the you perfect you station max i will leave a link down below so that you can check out all the specifications but it has these two huge 18.5 inch displays 1080 resolution 100 hertz of refresh rate IPS and matte so that it can disperse the light as you can see right over here and some of the images that I will share during this video. Inside the package we will find four cables, two of them are USB Type-C, one USB Type-A to USB Type-C, one HDMI to mini HDMI, power adapter, a user guide and this awesome huge dual display now talking about the display in terms of the footprint it's really small as we can see more or less i am occupying this space on the desk having this large area which is great in terms of design it's really well built all made of brushed aluminium in this space gray or similar to space gray and the bezels are not that slim but not huge as well those on the sides are smaller than on the top which is usual for this kind of display so i do believe that it's balanced but in terms of build quality great connectivity wise it has at the back two usb type c ports and one mini hdmi it has three buttons that we can access for the menus and so on and it also as speakers at the back. Now we can connect it in several ways and I will explain how we can connect and even using two different computers with this setup right over here. But before we do, in terms of the ways that we can use, it comes with this stand which is really sturdy as well and we will be able to put it on any angle now we can imagine several angles but we can use i would say from zero to 180 degrees it's just a choice for example i can put one monitor flat on the desk and the other one open 90 degrees i can use it in tent mode and this one is really useful if i want to use two different computers for example i will put it right over here as a tent mode and on that side i can have a windows computer and to that side i can have a mac os computer Computer. And this is a setup that it's so easy to just move around, which is great. And this is probably the best selling point, the portability, the small footprint and the easiness of use. But let's leave to that to the end. Now, in terms of usage, you can see that we can use it in several ways, including in the vertical. So if I want to use it for web design and so on, I can use it in a vertical way, either on macOS or also on Windows. And if I don't want to use any of these configurations with the stand, it also has a visa mount. So I can put it on a stand on my wall or on my desk and then besides the stand I have all this flexibility in terms of angles which is really awesome at least in my opinion but you let me know down below in the comment section what you feel about it now in terms of the way that we can use because I did said that I can use two computers with this because we can use it as individual displays or as two displays but being transmitted with only one cable so in terms of connectivity we have seen that there are two usb type c ports at the back and one mini hdmi one of those usb type c ports will be for power delivery now i did test out with mac os and windows and it will need itself power it will not be able to be powered with one single cable either from the mac or either from windows computer and it's easy to understand because these are two huge displays and one single cable wouldn't enough but there are good news because we are powering the display we will be connecting one single cable to our laptop and that single cable will power our 
laptop. So it will work more or less like a docking station. When we are connected, we are charging the laptop. But to pass image to these two displays, I don't need to use the HDMI and the USB Type-C cable. I can just use the USB Type-C cable if my computer supports, which as you can see by some images, the Mac OS and also the Windows laptops do support one single cable to have both of the images displayed right over here. Actually, I did some tests and besides the USB Type-C, when I did connect the HDMI, it did uh, actually get an image for a fourth display, which we wouldn't be able to power on because we had to choose between USB Type-C or HDMI. So one cable for power, one cable USB Type-C, to display both images. Now there is other setup that we can use and this is if I want to use different computers, I can do so. Let's imagine that I connect my MacBook Pro to the USB Type-C, so I will have image right over here. I can select that with the uh, menu, which is so simple. I didn't even bother to record image for the menu because it's really, really simple. But I just need to select the input and then I can connect to the other, the HDMI using a Windows computer. And I will have, for example, Windows right over here and Mac OS right over here. This will be great if I want to put it in tent mode and two persons will use it. This is just awesome. And the best of all is that it's a portable setup. So if in two or three days we have finished our project, I can just close it and bam, there we go. I used it on Mac OS and on Windows. The experience was awesome in both. Now there is only one thing that we need to do if our computer is not ready already, which is a driver. When we connect the first time to our computer, it will appear as a drive. We just need to install it and basically that will be it. We will have access to display both images on our computer. And besides being able, as I did show on some image, to uh, connect my laptops, one of the interesting setups that I did find is to connect a mini computer, which is what I'm connected at this moment. So if I want to have a really small footprint setup with a mini computer and two huge displays with a small footprint, then this will be great. And of course, we are talking about people that do multitask but if we want to use it for entertainment or games, then the experience is also awesome. And why? Because the panels are great. And they are two IPS panels, matte, as I said. It will help on the reflections of the lights that you can see by some images. The colors and contrast are great. And the viewing angles, which surprised me, are really good. Now we can see on some weird angles that we will never use in a true life experience, but the color distortion is really non-noticeable, even on those weird angles. Especially if we look at some of the images that I did record, and we can see that on portrait mode, it will be even better than on landscape, but this on really aggressive angles that, as I said, it will not be used in a true life experience. Now the question is, who is this monitor setup for? And in my opinion, is for someone that wants, first of all, multitasking. If it has already a laptop, then this will be a very aggressive multitasking because I can have a window on my laptop, a window or two right over here because we have space enough for that and one or two windows on the top. So I can have a really aggressive multitasking. Besides that, because we can have multitasking with different displays, bigger displays actually, but for someone that wants wants a small footprint. And as we can see right over here, more or less, or we can imagine, I'm just losing this space right over here. And if I put it on a fees amount on a stand, then I will lose less space even. So this is the main selling points that I would see for this display and this setup right over here. Also something to have in mind is that although this is a stationary setup, it can be transformed to a portable setup because it's really easy to just pack it up and leave. I'm not going to ruin my setup right over here because I want to take a few thumbnails for this particular video. But if I wanted to close, I just needed to close, remove the wires, pick it up and bam, there I would go. And with normal displays, this is something that would not happen as quick as we have right over here. So in my opinion, multitasking, small footprint and portability option to take anywhere that we go. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.